In this video, we'll talk about tab table views, which are a way to help you organize your display data in your user interface. So table views are going to pull their data from an array, and we will see how we can do this. So uh, I will create a new project. Let me call this TBV test for table view test, for example. And uh, I will hit next and I will save this somewhere. So I will come to my storyboard and I will look into my library for table view. And this is what I need. I just need a table view and I will put it somewhere in my UI. Now I will not care about um, the alignment and everything in this example because I'm just demonstrating how you can create a table view and how we can populate it with data. Now the first thing you need to do after you install this or you put this in your user interface is to give it at least one prototype cell. We will need this prototype cell to refer to the cells of the table in our code. So I will call this um, my cell. And this is going to be how I refer to it in my code. Okay. I just need to make sure that my identifier is here because if the identifier didn't save, you will get an exception, an ES exception or something like that. Now the next step is I need to connect my table view as an IB outlet into my code so I can use it. So I will have another editor right here. And this is going to be my view controller. Come back here to my table view, holding control and pull the table view into my code. And I'm going to call this my table. So I connected it as my outlet now in here right next to the class i need to add two more things so the class view controller uh, extends view controller and i need to basically add two more things which is ui table view data source and ui table view delegate okay now once you save this you will be greeted with an error so what you can do is this is basically telling you to implement those methods we will implement those methods in a moment but to be able to implement those methods we will need an array so I will go ahead and come here and I will declare an array that is going to be what I'm pulling from so um, let me just create a string array to make it simpler because it is going to ask for a string for the text of the cell so it's gonna be simpler that I don't have to cast anything so let my array equal to and then uh, s1 followed by s2 and s3 so let me just have those in here this is going to be 2 3 four five and the reason I'm having lots of them is to show you that you can scroll in the um, table view itself so s9 this is the last one we reached now we need to implement these two methods in here so for the first one the number of rows in section this needs to return an integer so this one needs to inform the table view how many rows are you displaying and how many rows am I displaying is going to rely on the number of elements in my array so I will just return the count of my array so return arr dot count and this is going to tell me how many elements do I need to display in my table view now the other one is the other method that we need to implement is the method that is going to return the cell to us so to return the contents of the cell so what I need to do first is I will define a cell so let cell equal to table view and um, dot dq reusable cell 
and I need the one with string and index path. So the string here is going to be the name that I gave to my cell. If we go back in my storyboard and go to the prototype cell, see this name? This is the string that I need to provide in my view controller. So I'll come back here and I'll just provide this name. And for the index path, it's going just to be index path with a lowercase i. Okay, now what I'll need to do is the following. I will say cell dot text label dot text is going to be ARR, which is my array. And I will provide an index here. So it is going to be index path dot row. And finally, I will just return the cell. Okay. Now, if I run this, it's not going to give me any errors, but my table view is going to be empty because I need to specify the data source for my table view and I need to do it in view did load method. So, right under super.view did load, I will do the following. So, remember, we called our table uh, my table and it should be right here. So this is the name of my table. So my table dot, and then I will need to specify the data source. And this is going to be equal to self. And the next one is my table dot delegate is going to be equal to self as well. And I will save this and then let me run it and let's see what we get. Now my simulator is loading and I got my items in here. So uh, to show you that you can scroll down that, let me just add a couple more uh, strings. So S10 and um, S11. Let me save this. I can go ahead and shrink the table view size as well, but see, this is how you can scroll through your table view. And you can change the colors and everything in this table view when you come and create it in here. So you can come here and change the background, change anything that you would like. But I will leave it white and you can just design it however you would like to. So this video um, concludes how you can create a table view and how you can populate it with data.